All right, so we're just driving back home. So it feels like I live in this thing in the summertime. Just got done spraying for today, but we need to get back so we can buy some cattle. Let's get to it. So I was just basically spraying some of my uh, corn crops. So my corn is getting pretty tall. If you see it over there, uh, it's about waist high. So I have to take with this uh, high void sprayer, I have to take it real slow. Uh, also, my alfalfa is doing pretty good over there. It still has a little bit of growing to do. All right, so we're just going to park this back into the shop for now. Shut that off. So now we need to go get to the sales barn down there. We're going to hopefully buy a whole bunch of yearlings. So our plan is basically we're going to put them in our feed lot. So I'm going to start out feeding at least two pins worth of, let's say, 50 uh, head. That's the goal anyways. Hopefully buy 100 head total, 50 head per pin. Um, hoping we could get that done. Uh, also, I need to put some uh, waterers on both of these pins. But other than that, I think we're basically done with this pin. Uh, we did pick up some uh, feeding supplies here. So we got the John Deere. We got a little grinder mixer. And we also got a feed truck. Our horses are doing good here. They need to work on this grass. I mean, look at this stuff. It's getting overgrown. They're not really chopping it down. So probably could get some more horses if we really wanted to. But we need to stop wasting time and get to the feedlot. What's up, Gina? You doing good? You're, you're covered in the grass. So Gina likes to play sneak attack down here. So when I'm walking up, she likes to attack me through this big grass. I need to mow it. All right, so we're going to head to the feedlot. It's all the way past the city of York. It's a ways down the road, but hopefully we could get a good deal. So we did look at the sale online. So they're supposed to have a huge sale of yearlings. So a lot of the cow-calf farmers, once their uh, heifers are ready or their steers basically are ready to be fed up, a lot of them just want to give them to a feedlot or sell them to a feedlot for a good price instead of feeding them all the way. That's our job basically. Uh, we feed them from a uh, young steer to uh, full grown and then we sell them to the rendering plant. It's like we got to wait for these long trains. They are long in Nebraska, that's for sure. All right. I'll probably have to contract some of my fertilizing through the co-op here, so I'm going to have to get with Jake and find out, uh, contract some of the fertilizing of our fields through them. Not sure what happened here. It looks like uh, they are working on the ditch here or something. They're doing something right there. It looks like they're working on. Hopefully they don't destroy any of my bean field there. So I'll, I guess the rumor is true. I've heard that they are doing a major trackway over here. Look at that. I mean, that is kind of huge. I don't know exactly what they're trying to do, but that trackway is giant. They definitely got a lot of equipment here, a lot of building supplies, so... Looks like uh, they are hard at it there, that's for sure. All right, so we go down this road right here, and this will be the sales barns on the other side. So I don't know why they want a track, because when you're watching a track, you're going to smell the, the poo from the sales barn. But I guess it's uh, ways down this road. We'll go in here and hopefully get a good deal on some yearlings. Looks like some semis are already down here. All right, that place is noisy. We purchased some yearlings here. So we got a total of uh, 100 head 
that's coming our way, so I also need to contract them to lift. So that's why these semis are here. I need to find their drivers, and hopefully I can contract them to bring them back to our farmyard or our pens. And uh, once that's done, then we are good. So I paid 210 thousand bucks for these yearlings so they are definitely not the thousand dollar calves that you uh, used to remember purchasing but hopefully we could sell that for a better price here in about a half year or eight months from now we will see So this is my first major crack at feeding cattle on a feedlot, so I'm hoping I'm doing everything correct. I need to make sure I get back and make sure everything is prepared correctly. So I need to give them straw, need to check on their waterers. Uh, there's a few items I need to check. I need to go around the pen just to make sure that the pen is good to go because, you know, it was just recently built so you never know when a weld's bad or you know some cement is cracking you just need to check that out just before you uh, let them all in go over the little dip there so does I don't know exactly uh, looks like uh, Jake had some problems with the planting he left a lot of strips in that field there's a uh, only certain strips that he has planted. I don't know exactly what's going on there, but that's definitely not good. It's way past uh, corn planting time. Looks like uh, Phillips 66 is closed again. I, I just don't know what's going on. This place is, seems like it's always closed for whatever reason. Can't ever fill up my truck, go get some coffee. What's wrong with this town? Alright, so we are going to drive in here and our plan is to go get our uh, little Honda. I'm going to go around the pins quickly just to make sure we uh, got everything good to go for the cattle to come home. Got to check. Probably a little bit behind because the semis are on their way. Checking the brands and everything to make sure which ones are ours gonna have a big branding day come up so these are our two pins here so we'll run around them really quickly just make sure they are good to go I also will start putting some feed in the troughs so we got all metal pins here so the metal lasts longer don't have to worry about the wear because you know Yearlings, they're crazy. Inspect their craziness, so you gotta definitely, oh, looks like we do not have a connection right here. So we're gonna have to fix this, make sure these are connected correctly. So we'll have to go get our truck and get a welder over here and get this completed. That's one item on our to-do list. Looks like that corner was connected there. Check out this chute here quickly. Alright, check this out. Make sure everything's good to go. Alright, so everything could they could load out. Seems like everything's good so far. Our little uh, pump seems like it's working there. At least I hope it is. Oh, looks like we don't have this connected here too, so I don't know exactly what they were doing. But they did not connect these, so I'm going to have to run back, get our welding truck, and get that fixed here quickly. Good thing we have our little uh, repair truck now, so that will work great for this re these repairs here. Run up here to the house here quickly. It's so convenient having this little Honda around the place just really zip around in this thing all right we'll get an old Chevy here start this old beast up all right so we will go down and uh, 
drive this down and hopefully get some welding. Looks like Gina wants to come along with us. So where was the two pieces we needed? I know one was over here. Go. Alright, start this old welder up. Go. Start welding this a little bit. Alright, so that is done. So we will go over uh, to this other corner that we saw this bad. that at right here I think all right start this welder up again all right let's weld these here all right that's done we'll shut this off all right there we go takes no time at all so now I'm gonna take this back over here and then uh, try to jump in our feed wagon get a load mixed up for these cattle here quickly and then hopefully they should be on the way I think I'll just leave this thing parked right here man do I ever need to mow I mean wow it's getting crazy I need to start mowing this place down where did I leave my feed truck? Oh, I think I left it in this barn here. So I'm gonna jump in this feed truck here quickly. Alright, start this old feed truck up. Definitely dirty in here. Back up. Go. So we'll go mix some feed out of our uh, silos here and then uh, get some feed made up. All right, got some uh, feed getting put in there. So we got the commercial feeder mixer. Get this thing done. Do not put your hand in the gear or looks like the belt there. It's a bad thing. That's a warning sign there for you. Watch this scale, see when we're ready. We'll drive this around here. So, uh, we would probably wait until we put the feeds in the trough there till later on. So we'll just kind of leave this stationary here waiting. Put a little bit in right there and then uh, we'll wait for the rest later on. Alright, so we're going to run in here. So I just got off the phone with Jake. He said he will allow us to uh, basically do a two-for-one swap. So I'm going to give him back some of the hay bale. So we are kind of hurting for some hay right now. Uh, we are still waiting for our, our alfalfa to grow. It's still a uh, little young still. So it's a little short still, but... It should be grown up here soon, so once that's grown, we'll give him back some alfalfa bales, and but we are borrowing some of his hay bales for right now, so we are going to uh, get this uh, 84R here started up. So I need to take off this rock box here before I put on the loader, so we'll go and take it to the shop here quickly. Start this beast up. All right, back up. If you see, uh, I heard another farmer around here got one of them old uh, classic Steigers. I, I heard Grant got one too. All right, we'll back this up here. All right, so we got that rock box taken off there. So now we can go hook up our loader. All right, so uh, for the sake of time, we are just gonna basically take this old beast down there and we're gonna load up some bales really quickly with this uh, tractor and road it back here so we could try to beat our uh, our truck drivers there all right hook this up it's like everything's hooked up looks like I uh, got some paint off my bucket there a little bit shut that all right Now we will uh, 
basically drive it over here and uh yeah i think our bail grabber is over here in our little uh overhead shed yep there it is that's our rear hitch double bail grabber there so we'll hook it up to our quick hitch there all right so that is hooked up now we are ready to start heading to jake's better put on our flashers there sure we are safe all right so we'll head that way it's a good thing jake is helping us out here so he's a good friend and neighbor Uh-oh. Looks like all of our semi-drivers are stopped at the restaurant. Man, we need to hurry back. They look like they are just about here. Yep, that's their cattle on the back of them there. And so we got four trucks coming to the yard here real soon. So we need to hurry over here and get this uh, hay, Jake's. No big deal. We'll just drive the tractor through a Nebraska town here. Not a big deal in Nebraska. So, Jake lives on the other side of York here. So, just over the train tracks. Kind of over here by the, the track, I guess. I don't know if he is the one doing the track or what exactly is going on over there. But, kind of a big operation. I don't know, I should have asked Jake if he needed help planting because it looks like he has this big field that didn't get planted over here. It's not a good deal. I don't know if that's co-op land or his land, how it went. We'll drive around the random cop stop in the middle of the road. Just a normal Nebraska road stop I guess I don't know what is going on there all right we went the wrong way we had to backtrack a little bit so I didn't know uh, Jake you had to go past the co-op right there and then you just go down this road so definitely has a long driveway let's just say that so back here to his place kind of a secluded place kind of the place how you like it Nice and secluded over here in the back. So we are going to run over here and hopefully, uh, he said just grab some of the bales out of the field. So we're gonna, I think his field is over here somewhere. So, man, he doesn't have hardly any equipment over here. Uh oh, got a little mud here. Gotta get through this mud. Oh, yep. Yeah. Here we go. Here's his uh, couple uh, bales out in the field. So we'll start loading these up here quickly. We'll back this uh, tractor up here. Alright, got the first bale up there loaded. Gotta drive this very carefully. Second bale here. Load it up. Looks like uh, his grass field is already grown here. I don't know why these bales are still out in the field. Alright, load them up. Alright, so now we just need to grab some bales in the front of our loader here go just because we're gonna road this we're only gonna load one bale up on this I know it's a big tractor and it can hold a few but I don't want to have to put that much strain on the tractor loading that up there we go all right so we got three bales here we'll have to give six backs to uh, Jake but we are gonna start heading down the road here 
Move that uh, loader down a little bit so we can see over top of it. All right, so we're headed back here. Got three bales with us. Head back over there and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to unload or at least we'll be able to feed our uh, yearlings for a little while. Got to definitely thank Jake once we see him again. Gonna take this kind of slow just to make sure we don't lose a bale here. I uh, don't want to have to come back. I have a habit of losing stuff down the road. So can't do that again, that's for sure. Don't want to lose a bale in the middle of a road and have somebody put it through their car or something like that. And so who here has ever lost a bale going down the road? I am one of them. So I remember the first time I was... Uh, moving bales, round bales, I lost the bale off the back of the trailer and I didn't even notice it until later on. So luckily no one got hurt. Wasn't no big deal. It just rode off in the ditch. But I would hate for something to bounce off and bounce on a car because 2,000 uh, pound bale could definitely do some serious damage to a little car. Could do a serious damage to a truck if it hit it so it's nothing that you want to take that seriously so definitely seen semis do it that had them loaded on the back before so never know when these bales just come rolling off I mean they're actually round so they roll off sometimes Definitely took a little bit longer, beans. we had to take our uh, tractor down there to pick up these bales, but uh, I think it was worth it instead of getting the trailer hooked up and having to haul all these away and haul the tractor down there. We probably could have borrowed uh, one of Jake's tractors, but it's easier this way, I think. All right, so I bet them uh, truck drivers are done eating over there, so we will get this uh, put over here by the pins. All right, so we will get over here and start guiding these semis in here quickly. Gonna go jump into the rain or, or Honda, run in there, and uh, we'll go meet them. Hi, Gina. What's up? Start our hunting rig up here. Run down here to town here quickly and start uh, guiding them to where they need to go. All right, so we will uh, go talk to them. They're probably all uh, smoking and joking in here in the restaurant and uh, get them to start coming our way. All right, they're all getting out, getting their truck started here. We'll start running over here. All right, so it looks like they all just got past the, the stop sign here. So got four of them all loaded up waiting for us. So before we uh, delay them any further, we'll get them to our pen here. Start driving over here. So I think the best way pass of travel is to turn here so I didn't really make this uh, turn wide enough I should have did a better job so semis don't have such a hard time we'll get right over here and then uh, we'll start all right we'll get out here so we got four of them oh man they're loaded up so I think I saw one of them driving my bean field I'm just gonna go check that out oh yep see I didn't make this wide enough, so it's kind of hard for them semis to uh, turn that wide. Getting in this little itty bitty turn, I probably should have did. Well, I guess that's no better over there. I mean, the only really good area to come, maybe go all the way down, turn around, come back in. But I don't even know if that would help much. But we got a little bit of bean damage there. We better get these, uh, show them where to unload before they get impatient here. All 
right, so we'll run over here and start backing up all these uh, trucks here nicely. So it's a madhouse here, so we got some of the trucks unloaded, so we're going to start unloading this truck, get some of these cattle on over here. All right, so we got this truck unloaded, so they're over here, so they're running around here. Looks like they're full on, they got some hay and some water, so they're doing good so far. Really like our chutes here, so they really are convenient, got everything right here, so we don't ever have to set it up just can load them out from each pin don't have to worry about uh, running them for pin so we'll get this truck unloaded here all right got to open this back gate right here and get these cattle moving over so these cattle are doing good I'm just gonna make sh sure that uh, no one got injured no one got seriously uh, hurt you always gotta check these cattle after they run in them uh, trucks because they could get stompled, they could break a leg, they could get injured or something. You gotta call the vet, get them ready. So, here's all these cattle are good so far, so. Alright, so the semi driver said uh, I could back up the next truck, so I'm gonna try to do that. We will wait until this truck is out of the way and then we'll try to back up this truck. He's a new semi driver, he doesn't know how to back up very well so he wanted us to. So they moved that semi out of the way so we'll try to back up this semi. Got to very carefully, can't really see anything out of there. So usually when you're backing this up you just go until it sounds expensive, right? Oh, looks like we're right there. There we go. Yep. Got it backed up kind of nicely, so we'll unload this truck. All right, that truck is unloaded, so we got three trucks down, so we just got to unload one more truck, and we are good to go. All right, we just unloaded our last truck, so we got all these trucks unloaded. So we'll take one final look out of all these cattle. Then we probably, these semis, want to start heading back, so... Looks like these appear to all to be uh, well maintained in the semi, so we'll start directing these uh, semis out of here. Alright, so it's much quieter now that we don't have four semis running here. So I think I need to put a little more feed in this uh, trough right here, so we'll feed them up quickly and then we'll make sure they all have a bale of hay over there. All right, so we got them feed, so it looks like they're all ready to go here. So, but thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Nebraska. Yeah, and happy holidays to you all. I hope you all get to spend it with family and friends. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.